Hi there Trailblazer, my name is Cam and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a new user inside of Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Alright, so we've just logged into Marketing Cloud and the first thing we'll do is navigate to the top right hand side of our screen. We'll hover over our name and choose the setup option from the menu. And once the setup screen has loaded, we'll navigate to the left hand side of our screen. Under the administration option, we're going to expand the users tab and then click on the users option. And once the user screen loads, we're going to see all the user accounts that have been created in this enterprise. Now for today, since we are creating a new user account, we're going to click on the create button. And once the screen loads, we'll be on the new user setup screen. As you can see, there's a few fields to fill out on this screen, so it's good to have the information before you get started. Now you're going to need the user's first and last name, as well as their email address to put into the reply email. You will have to press verify to make sure it's a valid email address as well. Now for the username, I recommend using something unique for this business unit. So for example, it could be their first and last name or their email address, followed by some kind of identifier for this org. Now for example, if it was the Northern Trail Outfitters, you could use Cameron.Robert.NTO. That way the username will be unique to this org and we won't get confused if you have multiple logins to manage. And finally, as the admin creating this new user's account, you can also issue them with a temporary password. Now don't worry, because the temporary password is just temporary and they will be asked to renew their password once they log in successfully for the first time. And once the information is all entered, we can press on the save button in the top left hand side to create this user. And once the next screen loads, we'll see our newly created user in our user list. Now we're not quite done yet, we still have to create this user's roles and assign them to their business units. So the first thing we'll do is we'll click on the tick box to select this user, which will highlight the menu options above, and we can press on the manage roles button. Now once the roles screen loads, you'll see all the roles and permissions that you can assign to this user. Now, as a newly created user, you won't have any existing roles, so you can press on the edit roles button to open up all the roles you can assign to this person. Now do be careful and make sure that you assign the correct roles that this user will need for their access to Marketing Cloud. Don't just blanket assign the admin roles to every user, you want to make sure that you do limit their permissions so you won't have any security issues in your instance. Once you've chosen the appropriate roles to assign for this user, you can press save. And now that the roles have been assigned, we can click on the blue users text to return to our users screen. We can once again select our user by clicking on the tick box, and this time we're going to choose the manage business units button. And on this screen, we can choose which business units to associate to this user. Now you want to make sure that you only assign the business units this user will need for their role, so make sure you expand those business units and untick any ones they won't be needing. You can also choose the default business unit or which business unit the person will log into when they first enter the platform. To make it easier for them, it's ideal to choose the business unit they'll be using the most. Once you've done this, you can then press save. And that's it. We have now created a new user inside Marketing Cloud, assigned them their correct roles, and also associated them to the correct business units. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this process. Don't forget to like the video if it helped you out today, and also subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.